All right. So according to the CDC, okay, so the confirmed cases of the flu was 35.5 million. And the percentage of people testing positive was 26.2 to 30.2%. And the sum total of people tested would be 117 million to 136 million. <coughs> 136 million. So the following year it dropped from 30 to 0.2 percent. So I don't know why there's that margin 26 to 30.2 like they couldn't figure it out. But according to that margin, then those are the numbers. And uh, the, the following year it dropped from 30 to 0.2 percent. If the sum total tested the following year was 117 to 136 million then the number of testing positive would have been 2.3 3 to 2.7 million. See what I'm saying? So the number, or 26 to, or, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> so what I'm saying is that while the number of people testing positive for the flu went from 35.5 million, went from 35.5 million to 2.7, um, million then that's uh, that's a swing of 30 as a swing of 33 million so while the number of people tested positive for the flu went and dropped by 33 million then the number of people testing positive for covid increased by 32 million so doesn't that seem a little suspicious to you so <clears throat> so yeah so while the number of people tested positive so, yeah, so, yeah, I was trying to read the last paragraph and I already said it, so, but yeah, uh, this video got pulled, so I'm just gonna keep doing it, I'm just gonna keep doing it.